Hi, this is Susan. Welcome back to my channel. This is another episode of Make Aheads, which for me is basically a list of things to remind me that I can make them ahead of time without knowing the theme of a project. And I can have my bases cut out and I can have some, you know, initial uh, fabric or paper onto something and just gives me a base that I can build on. I can just stack those up just like we make up, you know, tea dyed paper ahead of time. You can do a lot of these make aheads ahead of time. And then when you're doing your journal, you can customize them to fit that particular project. So today I wanted to talk about belly bands and tucks. I mean, they're so simple that I tend to use a lot of them in my journals, but I forget, you know, it takes time. It takes time to cut the paper. It takes time to decorate the paper. It takes time to sew if I'm going to sew. And it's just so much easier if I have some of these made up ahead of time. So what I do is I save, of course, like many of us do, my off cuts. And those are great because I tend to make journals that are um, eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So the offcuts from those, if I'm doing something else, are just perfect to make a belly band for those. And these are all done, except for this one, these are all just done with napkins. So they would actually be okay to use just like that if you wanted to in a simple journal, or you could continue to decorate them. Um, I do not do the cling wrap thing where some people do that, where they iron them on. I don't know that I trust that it's going to stay. So I do a glue stick and then I stitch around the edges. Uh, you can also use a matte medium or a Mod Podge and you could do that over the top as well if you want that extra protection. It does change the texture, as you know, to something that's a little bit more plasticky. But these just go together really fast and if you cut your papers in different sizes, you've got some of these um, wider ones like this. You can also use it, you know, at the end of a page like a tuck and just would be gluing it along those three things or like a, a side pocket, I guess. And then I also reuse photos that don't come out right. You know, they're a nice almost index card shape and I will do those up because that would be a nice pocket either this way or that way. And then I cut some of them at an angle. I made myself a template so I know how that's going to fit on my page. I know it's going to fit, say like this on that page or flip it the other way to go the other direction. And these make just really interesting little, you know, text for variety. This one I did with book page. This is also with a napkin. And here are a couple examples of how I'm using them in my current book. This is just a belly band napkin, but it goes great with that inked page. And then this is one of those corner tucks, which just adds a little bit of something without, you know, really having much bulk. This one's had Mod Podge done over the top of it, so, or not Mod Podge. Um, oh, I guess it has Mod Podge. <clears throat> and then here are a couple more. This is another one of those from here, and that worked really well on that page. Butterfly one just brightens up some of that tea dyed paper. And that's the same one like that. So. Just think about it when you've got those off cuts, you're looking for something else you can do. Oh, a third thing, you can take these and wrap them this way around a page and attach them and then you would have a pocket on each side or a tuck spot on each side, however you wanted to glue it. So that's what I have for you today, make aheads, belly bands that go either vertically or at an angle on your pages, use up your scraps, and get those made up ahead of time and they will be ready for you for your next project. I will be back again soon with some more make aheads and today I'm going to end with, like I do on Facebook every day, uh, something that makes me happy. And today what's making me happy is we are having rain, 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 rain here in California and I am so happy to have the rain to help my garden grow. Tell me what you're happy about in the comments and if you like the idea of doing make aheads and if there's a favorite make ahead that you like to do for your journals. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.